Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a full face and makeup routine video. Um, so if you're interested in how I achieve this look, keep watching. So first I'm going to start off with my moisturizer. This is the Alba Botanica Natural Hawaiian Moisture Cream in Jasmine and Vitamin E. I really like this moisturizer. It's lightweight. It doesn't leave my skin feeling like oily or greasy or anything. Um, I put it on in the morning at night. It's a nice, like, fresh, light scent. So I really enjoy it. I purchased it from Target. I'm just applying that all over my face. And next is my Elf Mineral Face Primer that I also purchased from Target. And this is in clear. And um, I'm just also going to apply that all over my face. And this is just going to give me a um, poreless finish or, you know, canvas to work with when I'm putting on my makeup. So no makeup will like seep into any pores or anything like that also going to apply this primer on my eyelids because I don't have any eyeshadow primer so I just use the face primer from elf and next I'm going to apply this um, copper colored um, metallic eyeshadow from bare minerals I don't remember exactly the cost of it because it was given to me as a gift and it was in a gift set so bye guys but I'm just applying this all over my eyelid so next you're gonna see me using my dream catcher palette from NYX and Golden Horizons and I'm just gonna use that um, nude color to do the rest of my eyelid because I just didn't want that shimmery color all over my eyelid and I didn't want it naked either so I'm just applying a nude color and then I'm gonna use this dark brown color from this NYC smoky eye palette and I'm going to start that off on the outside of my eyelid and then work it into my crease. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I actually already did my eyebrows before I filmed the video just because I have not mastered the art of doing eyebrows yet. So I didn't want to show you guys that unless I was a beast at it. So once I get good at it, I'll do a video like an eyebrow tutorial type thing. Um, but yeah, so I'm just working this dark brown color all the way up into my crease. I'm going to take that purple from the same NYC palette with a smaller um, crease brush that I got from Sonia Kashuk, which I purchased from Target. And I'm just going to use that to kind of like define my um, outer eyelid a little bit more. And I'm also going to work that into my crease as well a little bit. So next I'm just going to blend all of that together to get, of any, get rid of any harsh lines that I may have. So next is my 12 hour infallible super slim eyeliner from L'Oreal Paris. Um, I really like this eyeliner. I like the felt tip you know, of the liner. It really works. It's really good for a precision eyeliner eyelining and stuff like that but I try to get as close to my eyelash hairline as possible just because I don't like that gap between the eyeliner and the eyelashes you know I just don't think that it's very attractive so yeah try to get as close to that hairline eyelash hairline as possible Next is my Mega Plush Mascara by Maybelline, and I'm just going to apply that to my eyelashes. The only thing I don't like about this mascara is that the wand is a little flimsy, so I feel like I don't have a lot of control over where, you know, I want the eyelash hairs to go, you know, how I want them to fan out. So that's the only thing I don't like, but other than that, I like it because, you know, it just doesn't dry hard and it makes my eyelashes look soft and natural. But I'm going to follow up with my Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline with the famous pink and uh, green bottle but that just gives me more control over how I want the lashes to fan out because the one isn't as uh, loose as the mega plush one. Hopefully I did not get to film this part but I applied some concealer from my uh, Hidden Agenda concealer palette from Sonia Kashuk under my eyes using the padding motion and next is my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills that I purchased from Ulta recently and I'm just using two of those browns at the bottom to contour 
for my face and I'm starting at my hairline because you know you don't like that well I don't like that two-toned look that you get from like where your makeup starts and then where your hairline starts you know so that's why I try to get as close to my hairline as possible and then I'm just gonna bring that or work that all the way down the side of my face and hairline or whatever when I get down to my cheeks, I kind of like squeeze in my cheeks or my face like a fish or whatever. <laughs> but that just helps me to get better precision, you know, for as far as like where I want to contour my cheekbones. And then I'm going to use those same two browns to contour the sides of my nose. Next up is the banana powder that's in the contour kit and I'm just going to use that and put that powder under my eyes to set that concealer that I put under them earlier. Then with this fan brush I'm going to get the shimmery highlight color that's in the palette or the contour kit and I'm just going to Put that on my forehead to highlight my forehead and then I'm also going to use that same color to highlight the bridge of my nose and I'm just going to put that under my eyes and my chin as well and highlight under there and that little dip or crease that's above my lips too. Next up is my Milani Baked Powder Blush in Red Vino and I'm just going to put this on the, I'm going to start at the apples of my cheeks and then work my way upward and this color I like this color but I actually don't use it like this is my first time using it because it's so like red and rosy and I don't really like that in blushes because they make me kind of look like a clown so that's why I don't use this I try to be light-handed when I'm putting it on as well but you'll see once I put on my MAC uh, mineralized skin finish in medium golden how it kind of like softens the tone of that rosiness so it doesn't look like as rosy and red or whatever and I'm just gonna apply this um, mineralized powder all over my face that is the finished look for as far as my face routine goes and then next is my uh, pro long wear lip pencil and bittersweet from Mac and I'm just gonna use that to line my lips and I sometimes I'll go all the way out and do like the outer lip line but this time I'm trying to just like stay in where just because I'm not looking for a full lip look this time you know so I'm just gonna stay inside of the outer lip line and then I'm gonna kind of like shade in the outer corners because I'm trying to go for this like uh, ombre look or whatever so that's why I'm shading in the outer corners and then I'm applying MAC lipstick in Myth. And I'm just gonna kind of really, guys, just play with this until I get like the desired look that I want because it didn't really work out the first time when I'm applying this for the type of uh, ombre look that I was looking for when it usually does. So you'll see me kind of just going and playing back and forth with the Bittersweet Lip Liner and then the. Uh, myth lipstick until I get the desired look that I want. After going back and forth with it too and playing with it for a little while I end up with this almost um, nude color so that's fine with me it looks good so I'm happy with how the lipstick turned out and this is pretty much it for the look you guys this is the full face routine um, if you guys like the makeup tutorial want me to do more with like different looks and stuff like an everyday one and just another look let me know in the comments below thanks for watching